Summer 2015, alarming warning signs in the waters of Hood Canal, aggravated by the blob, very warm surface water in the Pacific Ocean. This is a blow up to show how intense it is. That's uh, seven degrees Fahrenheit excursion when it's bright. That's like above. Yeah, above above mean, average, yeah. yeah, above the mean for right now. The blob created unprecedented conditions at sea and throughout Puget Sound. Hood Canal is prone to low oxygen. There have been fish kills due to this in the past. Thanks to the ORCA buoy network, scientists and state resource managers were able to issue warnings of an impending fish kill. A half dozen buoys like this one, arrayed throughout Puget Sound, are equipped with sensor packages. Atmospheric and ocean parameters are measured several times each day and transmitted to servers at the University of Washington. In July of 2015, the ORCA data painted a pretty grim picture. There's basically no oxygen in the bottom 10 meters of at Tuano in southern Hood Canal. It's basically zero. It was very warm from the blob offshore. Actually, it was, it was great that we had early detection of this. Something was different. Something was very different. It was a perfect example of how ORCA can be very useful. ORCA is a partnership made up of people from APLUW, the UW College of the Environment, and the UW School of Oceanography. Just a really fantastic, dedicated team. Zoe and Hannah worked really hard to keep that Hoodsport mooring going this fall. You know, they've been out twice this week to work on these things. They, they aren't low maintenance. But having this lab at APL, uh, now we have a number of benefits that really have helped help out the program. We've already started a number of upgrade programs for the Orca moorings, and uh, we hope that will increase the resilience and just the capabilities of these moorings. But it really pays off in terms of just being able to predict things like the fish kill, being able to, to understand how um, Puget Sound is flushed, how deep water renewed. Available on the NANUS website, data from the Orca buoys help provide a constant real-time watch on the waters of Puget Sound. The 2015 fish kill affected many species but was not as bad as first feared, since seasonal flushing began a month earlier than usual. Thanks to ORCA, all interested parties were forewarned and braced for what was coming. We put out fish kill warnings well in advance of when there actually was a fish kill. So that really indicates the power of having those real-time observations, those frequent real-time observations, and then you know, a, a number of resource managers were able to respond. Including the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife and the Skokomish tribe. They're of course very concerned for fish stocks and so we want to be very proactive in giving the tribes and the management agencies the up-to-the-minute information. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.